This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Escalator Spiral. This design is being sponsored by the Ultimate Quilting Kit. If you're struggling to free motion quilt on your domestic sewing machine, chances are you're just not using the right tools or materials. Check out this kit of all the tools that you need for free motion quilting on a domestic sewing machine at freemotionquilt.com. Now let's get back to Escalator Spiral. This design is stitched by first starting with a very large spiral. This is a foundational design, so everything that you're going to stitch is going to be kind of based off of this spiral. So first I'm going to start with some simple straight lines of quilting. And the trick here is that you actually, this is technically a closed spiral, you don't need to leave space for yourself to get back out again. Uh, so I'm actually going to be filling this in about leaving about a half of an inch all the way in. So I'm always estimating between my needle and the line of quilting before about a half an inch distance. And this is kind of important to kind of get used to seeing distances between your needle and the previous line of quilting. So you can see here I'm keeping this consistent because I'm not looking at the needle and I'm not looking at that line of quilting. I'm looking at the space in between the two and trying to maintain that space consistently. It also helps to keep your straight line straight and I do that by keeping my hands parallel to the needle in the foot. Okay, so now the base of our escalator spiral has been created. We've got this nice sharp angled spiral going all the way into the center. Now it's time to fill this spiral essentially with a design called boomerangs. Boomerangs is uh, kind of this bouncy triangle shape just going back and forth just like this. Uh, and boomerangs, whenever you stitch it out of a spiral, it kind of swirls around rather randomly. But here we're just simply stitching a single line of it throughout this base of um, your square spiral. And so you're just going to try and fill in this area and you're working your triangle so that the point is always towards the outer part of the spiral. So uh, you can see here I'm kind of wiggling in an odd area and then I'm turning this corner so I'm just going to come up with a new triangle. And what this is going to do is this gonna, is going to create the effect of kind of like the floor moving. Uh, if you've ever seen a cartoon or something where the floor is moving, oftentimes they'll use uh, jagged lines like this, moving lines, to make it look like uh, the floor is moving. And that's kind of where the inspiration from this design came from. It's just wondering, okay, well, if I start with a big giant spiral, could I fill it with something else? And the answer, of course, to that is always yes. And in this situation, I really love the texture that these triangles add to the design. I think it just really looks good. And this is going to be a great design for those open, uncomplicated areas of your quilt, like open blocks, cornerstones, um, the corners of your borders. You know, really any of those areas that are kind of left blank and open and you're looking for just a touch of texture and this is really going to go in and kind of steal the show. That can be a good thing, you know, it can spice things up a bit. Uh, I really wouldn't advise putting this somewhere that's really complex. That's the only thing that I would really, dis you know, uh, kind of uh, encourage you not to do because this is just going to be too difficult to wiggle into really tight or complex areas. So bearing all that in mind, here's what it looks like whenever you finish Escalator Spiral. Are you interested in free motion quilting? Learn more about it and find over 250 more designs at freemotionquilt.com.